so the function i will be defining here is a time function and a date function so for this i will go to the top right here and here i will say import date time library this is also a pre-built library now the first function i will define is the time function so i will go here and i will say define time now since time is actually the name of a library right here that's why we can't use it as a function so instead i will be using time underscore and then i will put the parenthesis semicolon and in the next line i will create another variable for our 24 hour clock so i will go here and we will say let's create a new variable called time equal to date time dot date time dot now so you might be wondering that how come this time is not giving any error as it is also a name for variable the difference is that python is case sensitive so as long as the t is capital python will understand it as a variable's name instead of understanding it as the time library so in this variable we have called the date time library and from that library we have called the date time function with another function now which will give us the current time now since we want our time to be in explicit format for this i will call another function here strf time now in this function we have to pass the pattern in which we want our time to be represented now in this function strf time i will pass the pattern which i want my time or date to be represented in as an argument so i will place the quotation marks here and in it i will say percentage sign capital h for hour and then i will place the semicolon and next to it i will again call the percentage sign and then minute semicolon percentage sign and second so this will store the current time in this format hour minute and second in the time variable right here now i want the jarvis to first speak the current time is and then speak the current time that is stored in this variable so i will go here and i will call the speak function and in it i will say the current time is i will call the speak function again and this time i will pass the time variable right here so our time function is complete now if i go here and i will call the time function so let's try to see if it works or not the current time is 41 minutes and 5 seconds now since the current time is 12:41 am that's why it is taking the 12 as 0 and it is simply saying 41 minutes and seconds so what if i want it to tell me the time in 12 hour clock format instead of 24 hour clock so for this i will go here in the next line and I will create a new variable here which will be time underscore and I will take it equal to date time dot date time dot now the only difference for this will be in the format that we have provided in the strf time so this time format will be instead of h I will say capital I First, I will call the quotation marks, and then I will say percentage i semicolon, percentage m semicolon, and percentage second. Now, since I want it to say the current time is and then speak the time again, 
so i will simply copy these two lines from here and i will paste it right here so i will remove the indentation from here and i will change this time variable to time underscore as this is our new variable now i can simply run this file to see if it works or not the current time is 45 minutes and 39 seconds the current time is 12 hours 45 minutes and 43 seconds see it is working correctly as the first gives us our time in 24 hour format while the second speak function gives us our time in 12 hour format so now let's move on to our date function so i will remove the time function from here 